PeopleSoft provides administrators managing person and job data with a modern experience by fluidizing personal data. New tiles on the Manage Human Resources dashboard enable you to add a new person or update an existing person data record, add persons and their job instances simultaneously, easily assign a job instance or relationship for people that already exist in the system, and manage security access for persons of interest without a job record. When adding a person or creating an employee, contingent worker, or person of interest relationship, you can perform a search match to ensure the person you're adding doesn't already exist in the system. To see more detailed information, select the Organizational Relationship link or View button. If a person is a match, you can access and edit the information from this page. If there aren't any matches, you can add the new person. Organizations can configure the system to hide the employee ID, bypassing the Request Details page, and the system will automatically generate an ID when you're done entering the individual. When configured to show the Employee ID field, you can manually enter an ID or leave the field blank for the system to auto-assign the ID. The process of adding a person or organizational relationship appears within the context of an activity guide. On Classic Pages, the Person Data and Job Data components consisted of multiple pages. With Image 47, all Person Data fields are available from one scrollable page, and the same with Job Data. The banner displays the steps in the process. In this example, it contains the Person Data, Job Data, and Summary pages. The left panel, Section Navigator, provides quick access to sections within that page. Fluid Person Data enables you to include attachments in association with the name, biographical details, national ID, and address. You can also identify a checklist for tasks to perform after adding this person. When you're ready to add the person, select the Next button to initiate the validation process. If the system doesn't find errors or warnings, the process will add the person and move to the next step. However, if there are errors or warnings, they'll be listed in the validation section of the page. You must fix error messages, but you can move on without fixing warning messages. After submitting the person, the system assigns the new ID. The Job Data page works in the same way as the Person Data page, with quick links to the various sections of Job Data in the left panel. Use the Previous button to go back to the Person Data step, and the Next button to initiate the validation process for Job Data. After you've entered all the necessary information, run the validation process and fix any errors as needed. Use the Summary page to review all your data before submitting. The Confirmation page provides quick links to perform other tasks, like beginning checklist tasks for this person based on the checklist you selected in person data, viewing the approval chain for this transaction when approvals are enabled, adding another person or organizational relationship, or managing person or job data that already exists in the system. This completes our demonstration of the Person Data Modernization feature. PeopleSoft Enterprise Components delivers the Notification Composer component, which provides a centralized framework to create and manage all your notifications within PeopleSoft applications. Notification Composer streamlines multiple notification methods and frameworks into a single approach. Notification Composer employs PeopleTools 859 Push Notification Framework as part of its framework. PeopleSoft email, text, and in-app notifications are sent through the PeopleTools Push Notification Framework. This allows organizations to configure how messages are sent and whether they're mandatory. It also allows individual users to choose whether to receive a message and how they want to receive it. Notification Composer enables you to organize your notification data by factors such as business process and notification category, 
and to associate it to the PeopleTools notification framework using the PeopleTools notification name. Notification Composer requires PeopleTools 85919 or higher. Once you implement Notification Composer, you must use the component to create new notifications and manage your existing ones. HCM converted over 600 notifications to work in Notification Composer. This represents all the current notifications in the system. You can use the Define Notification Event page to review the delivered notifications. Search for delivered notifications by various factors, such as business process or functional category. Select Edit Notification Event to view the Edit Notification Event page. On the Edit Notification Event page, view event notification details or modify the notification ID and the notification event description. Select the blue information icon adjacent to the notification ID and PeopleTools notification name fields to view notification details. Additional notification information includes the message source and the message to be used for each type of message in app, email, and text. Notification Composer enables you to standardize your notifications and create your own notification events using event mapping to trigger the notification. You can also create your own notification to use with one of the application delivered events by overriding the notification event. This completes the Notification Composer feature description. Managers can now define, manage, and view business objectives for their organizations in Fluid. Redesigned pages provide a modern, enhanced user experience that's consistent with Fluid performance management functionality. The Business Objectives page shows you documents where you're the owner or editor. These documents are grouped according to that status. You can filter the document list by date or title. Create new documents if enabled in the setup, or perform actions on the document from the More Actions menu. What you can see or do on a business objective document is configurable through a template, like which sections are available or whether or not you can add items to a section. The More Actions menu appears in multiple locations to provide quick access to actions you can perform on the document, sections, and items. For example, select View Published Objectives to look at the published documents from your manager and peers while working on your own objectives. You can also add objectives to sections in the document. And if configured in the template, you can add both predefined and custom objectives. As you select or clear an objective, the system updates the item list count automatically. When you select an objective to update, one or more sections appear based on the template configuration. Enter details for the objective. Align the objective to an objective from your manager's published document listed here. And enter additional goals for the objective if needed. When you finish updating the document, submit it for publication. In self-service, employees can view published business objectives from their managers and other departments in their organization's hierarchy. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Performance Management Business Objectives feature. Fluid Performance Management continues to deliver enhancements to support employee performance reviews. The Document Errors section displays errors that the validation check identifies when you complete a step. You can select an error message from the list and address the issue on the page that appears. The validation check runs and refreshes the error list and row count automatically. You can also run the validation check manually anytime you update the document. Another enhancement introduced in this image is the ability for you to upload file attachments in the Define Criteria and Track Progress steps of the review process, in addition to the evaluation step. This option is configurable in the template definition. 
This completes the Fluid Performance Management Enhancements feature description. PeopleSoft HCM continues to enhance the configuration capabilities for benefits administrators and specialists. You can now configure the display of the contact and resources panel in the benefits enrollment and summary pages. Use these options to either collapse or expand or hide the panel altogether. This example shows the panel on the benefits enrollment page in both its default expanded and collapse state. Here, the panel is completely hidden. This completes the configurable content panel for benefits enrollment feature description. Benefits administrators and specialists can now easily access their pending approvals through Benefits Work Center. The approval links are available for life events and dependent updates. The links display the count of pending approvals. You can approve or deny a single request or multiple requests at one time or use breadcrumbs to navigate to the details of the document pending approval. Use the header link to view and take action on all the documents submitted by the employee. This completes the Benefits Work Center approval link feature description. PeopleSoft HCM delivers a new Team Time Direct Reports tile that allows managers access to all their direct and indirect reports without maintaining separate security. This new tile uses the Direct Reports for Managers framework that is used with the other Manager Self Service pages. This framework is maintained through a nightly process. The navigation collection on the left lists the components affected including time management and absence management components. With the introduction of this tile, managers don't need to select the time reporter each time when switching between different time and labor and absence management pages because they're now using the same security. The field displayed for the time reporters is configurable. Use the search option to quickly select an employee to navigate to their time and labor or absence management components. This completes the Direct Reports Fluid Time Pages feature description. In Image 46, HCM Shared Components delivered the HCM Lockdown Framework. It allows users to create groups, define users, roles, or product keys to lock components for a specified period and display the reason for the lockdown. In Image 47, use the lockdown event definition to specify the time and labor components lockdown by prior period or prior and current period. This completes the new framework for time and labor component lockdown feature description. U.S. non-resident aliens and payees can now view Form 1042-S and Form 1099-R, respectively, in Fluid Employee Self-Service. Use the 1042-S Consent and 1099-R Consent tiles to provide consent to receive the year-end forms electronically only. Use the Form 1042-S and 1099-R Forms tiles to view the forms. Select to view the form in the PDF or online format. Both formats are available in screen reader mode. Employees can always access the PDF format of the forms in non-screen reader mode. You can also make the online format available in non-screen reader mode if you choose that option during setup. Like other year-end forms supported in the system, administrators can run reports to view consent statuses of payees for Form 1099-R and employees for Form 1042-S, review consent and email notification status by individual employee, and reset consent statuses for employees.
This completes the Employee Self-Service Forms 1042S and 1099R feature description. In Image 46, Payroll for North America delivered a feature to update federal tax withholding in Fluid Employee Self-Service. Now, with Image 47, Canadian employees can also update their provincial tax withholding information using updatable forms. Select the tax form to update and submit it when finished. For Quebec, two forms are available. If approval is enabled, tax withholding changes occur in the system after the approval of the update request. This completes the Canadian Provincial Online Withholding PDF Forms feature description. PeopleSoft introduces a new option that allows recruiters to view or print work experience details in the Job Application Report. Select the Work Experience with Details option to view the work description and employer details provided by the applicant from the job application in the application report. This completes the work experience details available on view print feature description. PeopleSoft Enterprise Components enhances Page and Field Configurator, enabling you to identify and track changes made by users to specific fields on PeopleSoft Components. Select the Change Tracking Configuration type to use the new functionality. Change tracking is not a replacement for PeopleTools auditing, rather it's a more targeted tracking of changes to specific fields. You can apply criteria based on a field or by role, allowing you to track changes made by some roles but not others. You can track changes made using a specific mode, such as correction mode. The detail of the change, including the before and after values, the date of the change, and the person who made the change is stored in a log. Also, you may enable users to supply comments and attachments documenting the change. A history of the changes can be made visible to users as related information. This completes the Tracking User Changes in Page and Field Configurator feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.